Hey, what's up you guys? It's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So I'm so happy to be back. I'm sorry I know I went on another long hiatus. Things have been crazy transitioning from student world to adult world and it's just been a lot. But I thought because I've been away for so long that I could make this video about you guys. So I went on Instagram and asked you guys to ask me a couple questions and I'm going to go ahead and answer those. Also, before we get started, I have a very special announcement. I am doing a collaboration with Jord Watches. Jord asked me to do this and as soon as I went on their website, I thought that the watches were so beautiful and unique. These are wooden watches. And let me show you the box it comes in. It is like unreal. So when I got it in the mail, it came in a box that looks like this. So cute, the cutest packaging I've ever seen. It's just a wooden box and it has this little thing cushion I guess inside and then the watch was inside as well so the exciting thing is I am hosting a contest with Jord so what the contest is is I will leave a link below and the contest actually goes through Jord's website it has nothing to do with me or anything I'm picking the winner it's kind of more Jord's website doing that and they will pick a winner and the winner will receive $139 off of a watch and I know the watches start at $139 so you could definitely do that. Also I have a code for $25 off and also a free sizing and that code is just use the code name E-M-M-P-R-I-C-C-E and you'll receive $25 off and I believe that code ends at the end of September so if you're interested make sure you use that and yeah because I want to get you guys some money off and get you guys a cute watch like this so without any further ado let's just get right on into the video so I was so excited that a lot of you guys still ask me questions because I know I've been gone for a long time and I wasn't sure what the turnout would be like if I asked you guys but of course you guys came through like always so let's just get started so the first question is from Haley Holland hello and she said would you ever consider moving to LA okay so I've thought about this before and I think that if my YouTube channel were sometime in the future to take off and I ended up having like like how much do you even have to have to move to LA like a couple hundred thousand so if I got to that point I would definitely consider moving to LA I know I've been kind of stagnant with my channel but I think in the next two months or so it should pick up and I know that's kind of a long time away but just bear with me and hang in there um, but should I ever take off I would definitely move to LA but just to move to LA with the job that I have right now Probably not. I'd look more towards Pittsburgh to move. Okay, so the next question is from Galactic Jenny. Hey, and she said, so glad you're filming again. Thank you. She said, miss your videos. My question for you is, any tips on college senioritis? So, I know, oh, yes, I just experienced this. It's so hard to want to keep pushing forward, especially if you know that you're probably just going to make it anyways, even if you slide by with C's. But I think that the really important thing is just to remember you just do a little bit more like you are so close why give up now and do mediocre work when you could just push a little harder and then you're gonna get this great GPA that you're so happy with so just stay strong and I know it's hard trust me I know it's hard but you could do it okay so the next question comes from XOXO Kiana hi and she said how long have you been on YouTube for and has what has it taught you so I've been on YouTube for coming up on two years this fall is it two years this month or next month it's one of the two but it'll be two years and what YouTube's taught me is how to well a set up a schedule for everything when I first started making YouTube I was in college I had a part-time job and I was doing YouTube and it kind of just taught me that you can fit everything into your schedule if you organize it and you have the dedication for it second of all it taught me how to have thick skin I know there's a lot of trolls on YouTube which really don't bother me anymore I mean I've said this in so many of my videos you really have to think about the mindset somebody has to leave a negative nasty just off the wall comment on your video they're obviously just trying to get the best of you and if you let them get the best of you then they win and 
you don't want that. The next question comes from XO Roxy. Hello, and she said, why were you off YouTube for a while? So I had to go this summer semester, which was May through August, to finish my bachelor's degree and just be done and everything. And I really wanted to do that. I didn't want to have to go in the fall semester. But on top of that, I was still working a part-time job. And on top of that, I had my internship. And so it was just a lot. And then that's when my videos originally started to die down. Um, and then I came back for a little bit towards the end of my senior year. And then when I started my full-time job. So I work a 40 um, hour a week job now. And when I come home, I'm just so tired and so like mentally drained that all I want to do is a, take a nap and B, see my friends and that's kind of what lifts me back up. So I, it's not that YouTube doesn't do that because YouTube has had such a positive impact on my life. Um, it's just that I just don't think I was prioritizing it. I don't want to force content when I'm not super into it and genuine about it. So that's why I've kind of been gone for a little bit, but like I said, in the next month or two, I hope to pick back up the channel a little bit and start making videos more frequently. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so next question comes from Mimi XOXO. Hello, and she said, what made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube is that I've been making videos on a like around the house camera since I was probably five or six. I would used to make them with, I can't believe I'm going to say this on YouTube, but I used to make them with Webkins. And I'd make like little series videos. And so I've always been really interested with the whole filming and editing thing. And then when I started, when YouTube became a thing, you know, I started watching immediately. I used to watch Shane Dawson all the time. And then as YouTube progressed, I was thinking, okay, all these people are coming on the platform. This is something I'm passionate about. Why can't I do it too? And then I tried to get on in high school and I was too nervous of what everybody else would think, which I am. which I'm mad at myself for, but then in college, I decided I didn't care what anybody thought, this was gonna be my creative outlet, and so I made my YouTube channel. Okay, so final question is from Peach Gal, hey girl, and she said, yay, you're back. My question is, how are you doing, and why haven't you uploaded in a while? So I kind of already touched on why I haven't uploaded in a while, but I'm good, I'm happy to be back, and I am going to admit that I'm probably gonna take another hiatus, but I will be back and better than ever and hopefully I can get back to a normal upload schedule. Um, I know I used to like film three times a week so I'm trying to get back to something maybe not three times a week but maybe like once or twice if I'm able. Um, I just think that'd be really great. So once again don't forget to check out Jord and use my codes and enter to win the $139 off the watches. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.